Hi, Swarthos here. Um, just let you know, I got my dog in here, so he's like eating back here. He, I don't know, he has to be with me wherever I go every minute of the day practically, and I kind of give up on shutting the door for the few minutes that I make this and just let him in here. So he might make noises and things. That's just him back there wearing his coat. Um. I was just going to touch on one more thing about that comet, that comet Atlas, which of course I am no expert on. I just saw the connection between it and how in the past comets have coincided with um, big pandemic type events. So it just, I just thought it was interesting. Um, one thing I wanted to say about Comet Atlas um, is that when it first was noticed and was coming, it was growing in brightness. They look, they categorize the brightness of these objects in space by magnitude. You know, I don't know anything about this. This is just what I've read. So, but. Venus, the planet Venus, is a magnitude 4.5. So that gives you an idea of what a 4.5 magnitude brightness looks like is what the planet Venus shines like, how bright it shines. And the comet Atlas, I think, was an 11, and then it grew to the brightness of a 7.5. But now, the last time I checked, I think it was 8.5. So it's kind of decreasing a little bit as it gets closer. My hope is that this thing just fades away and, you know, doesn't even make it here. But it looks like it's going to come. So, having said that, another thing I found interesting about the Comet Atlas is its color. It's green. Now, I know comets come in, or I, what I understand is they come in all different colors. And green happens to be the same color as one of the four horsemen of the apocalypse. The um, pale rider, that's actually green, like as in chlorine green. And that's the one that carries with it disease and death and famine and all that stuff, but primarily disease. And um, that is the green rider. That's that horse. And so I thought it was interesting that the Comet Atlas is, yeah, green. Wouldn't you think? Wouldn't that great, right? Um, so who knows? I had no idea that when I made that video about the Comet Atlas that I was going to get the last time I checked like over 500 um, views on it. It could be more. Um, When I created this channel, I originally made it um, to just be something for me to post my video games and like a journal for me to record stuff. Um... <laughs> there he is. Wait, can you see him? There he is back there. He's, he's eating. Um, by the way, he likes to eat rolls of toilet paper. So this is not the time that uh, we want to let him be eating rolls of toilet paper. Um, what the heck was I saying? Um, yeah, so gosh. And then I got subscribers. For me, you know, a lot. I had like 26 or something. And I was like, wow. Um, I thank all of you for subscribing. I didn't really set my channel up to be like a... I don't know what people set their channels up for. You know, people are always looking to get subscribers and views and stuff. I, you know, I'm really kind of shy by nature and kind of an introvert. Well, I am an introvert, and um, I appreciate 
everybody um, showing an interest in my channel. Um, I guarantee you I'm going to remain just as weird as I've always been, though, okay? So, but the last couple of weeks I haven't felt like being too weird because all that's going on. Um, when I say weird, I mean wearing even more unusual shades and video effects and things like that. But let's move on here. Talk about journals. Um, here's a fun thing to do, in case you were wondering. Um, what to do when you are isolated. This is something I've been doing for years, is I take these ordinary composition books... Uh, like that and I I cut out a cardboard piece and then I I hot glue it onto the, um, the composition book and then I like this one I've drilled holes in it and put these leather strings through and tied it you know and I, you can like glue pieces of cardboard on there and stuff just for fun and oh so I gotta hold it up here I, I spray painted it all black, even on the inside that I use like watercolors and painted and this is just, you know, when I keep like when I buy a lottery ticket or something or have something interesting that happened, then I, I put it in this book. I have a bunch of these I've been keeping over the years and so something fun to do. Um... Not liking the sound of my voice. Sound weird. Let's see. Nothing there. Been monitoring the ham radio channels. I got a little handheld CB radio and one guy on there talking about hemorrhoids the other day and that's about it. Um, Yeah, is there any end in sight to to all this? I don't know. Hmm. Well, I better go pay attention to him before he starts eating something. All right. Thank you for watching. Swarthos, out.